What's going on guys? So I've been pretty much exclusively daily driving Big Betty since I sold my F-150 for two main reasons. One, I've really grown to love this thing and I enjoy driving it. And number two, and most importantly, it has amazing air conditioning, which as y'all know, is huge right now. It's miserable outside. But there's been two issues with this thing since we got it. And I want to go ahead and address them today. Hopefully going to be easy fixes for both. But no, before you even comment it, I'm not taking over Project Big Betty. This is still Lauren's project. She's still going to do all the mods. She's going to have a whole transfer of this thing but we have been enjoying it as it is currently and it just looks good it drives good everything like that I've been annoyed by one of these problems and Knox has been annoyed by the other so since we got this thing this back window has not rolled down and it's pretty easy to see why uh, previous owners kid or something has spilled who knows what into this thing and when we got it if you turned off the child window lock uh, it was just like a machine gun like it was just trying to do something and it wasn't rolling down so maybe i'm thinking it was stuck up so either it burned up the switch or hopefully not the window motor all you want to do here is get your flat pry and gently go underneath this thing and pop the front up and then the back which is such a huge improvement over the gmt 800 where you have to take the whole freaking door apart there's just sticky goodness all over the place pinch this well just push it from the back side like that duh <laughs> that makes it a million times easier yeah there's this freaking crap all in there this should pop straight in just like that let's throw it in there and see if that fixed it doesn't look like it's in this at all so Hoping for the best. Let's see. Oh, <laughs> oh yes. I am stoked that that was the freaking switch. I was so worried it was going to be the, the motor burn up. Yes, we got to fix this. I've been on the hunt. Uh oh. Oh, yes. She works. She works. Wild clap wagon. Gosh, dog. Now, number two is our dash looks like freaking Christmas. That's tire sensor because, uh, you know, aftermarket wheels and tires without sensors. Uh, but then we got Stabila Track, and all this pops up right here, and you have to hit the check mark and go through it. Stabila, service Stabila Track, service tire, service traction control, service Stabila Track, yada, 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 ABS light on, all that. And it is because one simple mistake the previous owner did, I think when he was doing the leveling kit on here, because it did have the leveling struts on it. That is tearing the ABS wire or whatever. This guy right here, of course, couldn't tear it below where you could just buy one of these and replace it super easy. It is up here by all of the wrap with the other wires. Uh, attempt at fix, it looks, it's, it's taped up. He told me it was messed up. And uh, that's why all of those lights are on because we're not getting a signal to this front tire. And so the truck's freaking out thinking, who knows what but hopefully we're going to be able to take that apart hopefully the wires just disconnected and i can put them together solder them and then it'd be fine no lights no issues that's what i'm hoping for at least two days and ten dollars later we got an amazon special soldering iron kit i've got our wires cut fanned them out pinched and twisted them together got the battery disconnected as well and that thing's heating up so for the first time in my life i'm about to attempt to solder Let's hope it goes good. Oh my God, no way. Yeah, yeah. I got them pretty, I'm not even gonna say pretty good solder. I got them soldered a little bit. It's, I don't know if I'm just terrible at it or if this thing's crap. I saw some reviews saying though the wire that comes with this is horrible. But either way, uh, batteries back in or back connected. I'm not got too high of hopes, but let's crank this thing up and hopefully not have a bunch of lights still. Today is definitely one of those days where if you didn't have bad luck, you wouldn't have luck at all. My gosh, man, this thing's frustrating. So I uh, went to O'Reilly's to see if they could possibly scan the thing and it show anything. Of course, they couldn't. 
They recommended the mechanic, which of course, snap on, blah, 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 blah. I get it, yes, we need a super expensive scan tool to see anything. Uh, pulling into the parking lot, wasn't really paying attention. Ramped the curb, thank goodness we got the meaty buzz so we didn't get our wheel. Uh, get back here, gonna fiddle with it a little bit more. Uh, pop the terminal off. This thing does not hold uh, a socket in it good. So my extension and the almighty 10 mil has fallen down in there. I've not been able to retrieve it with the magnet. So that's amazing as well as have not fixed our issue. So I'm gonna try to, I'm trying. I spent about 30 seconds fighting this magnet trying to get it down in the fender, but obviously both sides being metal, not having any luck. So I said, screw that. How else can we get access? And lo and behold, I found my freaking tool, so hopefully there's a little tip for anyone else. There she lays at the bottom of the freaking fender. So, yeah, if you drop yours in the fender, freaking open your door, look in there, and she's probably going to be laying there. So if I crank this thing up, show y'all what we got going on. So it still pops up service traction control, which is just lovely. Service stability track. And the uh, traction, whatever the other light is, it doesn't pop up until you start driving or sit here for a little while, I think. But down here, our little traction control button, which you press one for traction control to go off and then hold for stability track, right? Well, if I press it, it turns them on. But the lights, like I can, I can hold it. There it is. Still a track light. Turn them on. <laughs> so like it's kind of functioning, but that guy stays on and so does that. Well, I was definitely not wanting to end the video off like this. I was really wanting to get the ABS, traction control, all those lights and sensors figured out, but I just haven't had any luck and I really don't know where to go from here. So let me fill you in what I did off camera. Y'all saw freaking solder failed miserably. I could just be a total noob or have the improper wire or it's just crap. I, I don't know. Either way, I just couldn't get to stick. It wasn't working good. So I took it back off, stripped them down, put some new connectors, should be great, right? Well, still same issue. So I'd already ordered a new wheel speed sensor and I did the whole pull the battery, put your foot on the brake. That's supposed to drain the battery down to where it will reset the ABS system. It's still doing the exact same thing. So we've got a, a connection issue. I don't know how to find it though. That's my problem. So I need some insight from y'all. Hopefully someone knows at least how to diagnose this better uh, because I just don't. So um how do you how do you find it because maybe this side's fine maybe it's the sensor on the other side uh just like one of the fancy snap-on scan tools or anything is that potentially something that can find which sensor is messed up and throwing all the issue i just figured i'd go ahead post the video and hopefully someone in the comment section can steer me in the right direction because aside from trying to find somebody with a snap-on like real fancy scanner that i guess potentially can find and pinpoint the location of a faulty wire or sensor I don't really know what the next step is to be. So uh, yeah, I'm sure it probably is the freaking wire. It's probably all that on the driver's side uh, where it was messed up. And yes, it was messed up like that when I got the truck uh, before the lift, yada, yada, yada. Nothing that I've done has caused that. It was like that when we got it. But I would definitely like to fix it. it doesn't mess up its driving. Obviously, if we were to slam on the brakes, ABS is not gonna work. But um, aside from that, you know, it drives 100% perfect as if the lights were off but we need to definitely get it fixed because it's it's not the best thing to look at the um christmas tree on the dash i know it's not the most entertaining video but you know what some of them are just like this and hopefully you just you know enjoy a chill video and hopefully one of you big brain fellows out there can or ladies can uh steer me in the right direction so definitely leave me some feedback please love you